So a couple of weeks ago I made a review of the Mica 25mm T2.2 and in that review I talked a bit about its similarity to the Vedra Mini Primes. Well, now that I've actually had the chance to compare the two, I can confirm that to my eyes, optically, they are pretty much exactly the same. So in this video I'm going to give you just a brief look at some test chart footage I shot and then I'm going to go into a bit about the history of Vedra and my theory on what's going on here. So as you can tell, there's really not much to say about this footage. They both look pretty much exactly the same. They're the same size, same weight, same materials, same gears. They perform the same and they even have the same aberrations all for about a quarter of the price that the Vedra Mini Primes used to go for. So if you're new to all this and you're just looking for a good lens for your filmmaking projects, I recommend checking out my review. If you're unaware, Vedra was a company that launched on Kickstarter in 2014 with the goal of making the first native Micro Four Thirds cinema lenses. Now that Kickstarter was a success and the lenses were quite well received but they never quite took off in the way that many had hoped. Nevertheless, Vedra seemed to be doing good and they expanded their lenses with uh, Sony E-mount covering APS-C size sensors as well as C-mount lenses aimed at the digital Bolex cinema camera. During this time they also announced plans on a 8.5mm wide-angle lens as well as ambitious plans of a 2x anamorphic version of their 25mm lens to be released in late 2015 with plans of a 3 lens set to be ready in 2016 none of which ever came into fruition in early 2017, Vegas headquarters were broken into and over 200 lenses were stolen. Many point to this as the downfall of Vedra, although just a month after the break-in, Vedra announced that they had a new shipment of lenses from their factory in Shanghai. And they also announced that they would be releasing a Fuji X-mount version through two close lenses. After this, Vedra kept up with a few social media postings here and there, but things seemed to be going downhill with delayed orders and a lack of response from customer service. So, cut to NAB 2018 and the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K is announced. Now, more people than ever are willing to invest in the Vedra lenses. With Vedra's website being down, people look to retailers, but even the retailers seem to be unaware of the situation and can't get into contact with the company. At this point, Mica, who up until then were mostly known for their battery grips, out of nowhere announced their own cinema lens, a 25mm T2.2, strikingly similar to the Vedra's. Just days after that announcement, Vedra finally came out with a statement addressing their lack of response to customers. We apologize for the recent issues with Vedra.com and the lack of supply of Vedra Mini Primes around the world. We are aware of the current issue with supply of our highly acclaimed Mini Primes and apologize for the lack of response from our sales and information email addresses. We have been having some product supply, company email and web server problems that cannot be immediately resolved. Vader remains dedicated to offering the highest quality product and service for the best price possible. And this guy sums up pretty good what happened next. 
So without any kind of insider knowledge, it's hard to say exactly what's going on here. But the fact that they mention product supply problems gives us a pretty good idea since, according to early interviews, all design and manufacturing was done by Zhang Optic in Shanghai. And from what I've heard, there's been some sort of dispute between Zhang and Vedra. And I'm by no means an expert, but this lens doesn't strike me as a reverse engineered lens. It's hard to say for sure, but my suspicion is that they've partnered up with Mica instead. That would explain why Vedra have been quiet through all of this. Either that or Mica just made a really solid copy. So it's hard to say for sure and none of these companies have addressed this in any sort of way. So what baffles me the most is the price difference. The Vedras were sold for almost $1200 and the Micas go for around $330. And that's about half of Vedras Kickstarter offer. But there really doesn't seem to be any sort of cutbacks with this lens. They're both made out of the same material, they have the same gears, same aperture, seemingly the same optics and coatings. And that's where I was gonna leave this off. Well, that is until I noticed this. So I guess everything is still up in the air and we'll just have to wait and see. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you're interested in checking out this lens for yourself, you can do so in the affiliate links down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, like and subscribe. Have a good one.